Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. This is part 13, and we are starting out in our lovely save station here, as always. I don't think there's been an episode in this entire LP where we, except barring the first one, where we didn't actually start in a save station. Because I'm pretty sure we have. Or a saving area, because the ship kind of counts as that. Um, but then again, I'm not the type to, like, be like, oh my god, I just need to get this episode over with, and just, like, end it just while we're walking around. And the save stations are kind of plentiful in this game, so it's not like I can't end the episode at one. Plus, I like to save in between. So it's like, I don't, if I, if something goes wrong in the episode that follows it, I can always just, uh, retry that recording. And there was, like, three, uh, arrow pirates that we just destroyed. Alright, now we have a little puzzle down in this area. And I'm not entirely sure how to start it off. I think we, there's something we need to scan. Maybe this. Uh, no, that's not it. Um, okay, no, 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 I remember. Uh, we need to look... Maybe not. Uh, is there something? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh, no, oh, we, no, we're already on the wave beam. Alright. I think we need to go around to all these and uh, hit them. Give power to them. There's one more over here. This is kind of a time-consuming little puzzle, but it's kind of cool also. Because you get to morph ball around and stuff. And we got our little puzzle music. I think. I'm pretty sure. Do we? I can't really hear it. Yes, we do. There it is. <laughs> yes. Solving puzzles in space. No other way to do it. Alright, so as we can see, um, that little jet of air kind of cooled the lava. So we can just run in through here. And I think there's a little switch we have to hit or something. Uh, yeah, we gotta scan this. And that will cool the other area, I'm pretty sure. Is it the green one? Yes, the green one. That was just a guess, I don't know any of this. <laughs> but there, I know there's blue, green, and purple. So I made it, I'd, I'd made an assessment, and it worked. And this one's timed. I don't think the first one was timed, but this one is. Whoop. All right, let's scan this one. We got one more of these left to do. When I was a kid, for some reason, I feel like I, I don't think I could figure this puzzle out. And it's really, really simple, so I'm not sure what the deal was with that. But I was kind of dumb at a ki as a kid. Um, like I've said before. And as a kid, I was bad at games, also. Uh, which I'm pretty sure I've also said before. It's not that one. It's this one. Right? Yes. I am the master at remembering colors. And there's an energy tank. Which is cool. I think maybe now we have half of them. I can't count that because I'm trying to focus on the screen. Also just because I can't count. You know how it is. No. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I think it's seven. I can't see. Is it? I mean, I think I might need glasses to be honest. Because I can't really see that. Um, where do we want to go? I think there's a door over here on this forest side of the room, which is the way we want to get. Because uh, there's another door, like, over here, up up over there somewhere, but uh, we, I'm pretty sure that's the, if it's the room I'm thinking of, we can't get anywhere. And here's this weird enemy. Uh, if you shoot it in the middle, the squishy middle that looks like it should be the part that gets shot, um, it'll, like, flip over and become a platform. One of those enemies that kind of helps you. Like the little beetles, how you can freeze them in the, in the first Metroid, and they become little platforms. Also, I think this guy... What is this guy's name? It's, uh... Puddle Spore. I'm pretty sure this guy is a, uh... Subtle reference to Spore Spawn, which is one of the bosses... Or, I think it's a mini-boss, actually. Um, but one of the big baddies in Metroid... Uh, Super Metroid. Which I think is kind of cool. And they do look alike... So, um, and because it's called Puddle Spore, I'm pretty sure that's what they were going for. Puddle Spore, they were going for. Uh, now, we shoot that thing with a missile. That stalag might tight, might tight, tight, might. And it'll just crush the Magmore, which is funny. We could have dealt with him with other means, but I like that way because it's kind of comedic. And then there's another one in here. Uh, there's another Magmore, I'm pretty sure. Is there? Is there not? Oh no, there it is. We have to shoot these with missiles too, by the way. I don't think there's any other way to break them down. 
And these puffers. Oh, there you are. Trying to catch me while I'm vulnerable. Boom! Super missile. Yeah. Alright. Now let's get rid of the puffers everywhere. Because they're just going to keep being annoying. And please. Okay. That's like in that episode of Super Mario World where I was like, No, wait, please! <laughs> When we were in uh, one of those last castles, the one that had the little spike, sparky guys in them, that we called Watts, I was like, "Wait, no, please!" I don't know. I thought it was funny. <laughs> Hopefully, you remember that. That was kind of not that long ago. Um, speaking of Super Mario Sun, Sunshine, no, Super Mario World, uh, that project, there might be a similar sort of project happening kind of soon. Then again, there might not. So who knows what I'm saying? All right. And I think we're coming back to, um, yeah, yeah, this is that room. This is kind of a blast from the past. Uh, now that we, I showed this room off, and I was like, we can't do anything with this yet. But now that we've got, um, the spider ball, we can just roll mosey our way on over. And it's weird, because I'm holding down to go forward. Like, I'm holding back to go in the opposite direction. Because it's, and I, that's something I have never understood in games. It's the same way, uh, here's the Talon Overworld one, but I don't think we want to take that. Because I said last time we wanted to go to Chozo Ruins, and I'm going to follow the ideas of past me and go there first. Because when you're in trouble in the future, always look to the past. Ah! Um, yeah, I never, like, when you are going up a wall or something in a game, I never know which way to hold the control pad or stick or whatever you want to call it. I was just playing, I just finished Rayman Origins, uh, I 100%ed it, and ended up getting all the achievements too, which is the first time I've ever done that in a game, get all, like, the achievement achievements. Um, I usually will 100% all the stuff that's in the game, but a lot of the time the achievements are, like, do this thing that you'll never need to do to beat the game or get any of the requirements or anything. Um, so I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of them. <laughs> but Rayman Origins was done in the way that a lot of the achievements came just through the stuff that you would normally do to 100% a game. So that's kind of why I was able to 100% it. But um, there's a power in that where you can run up the wall and you run, it's like you're holding left to run up and it curves around so you're eventually going right but you're still holding left to go right. It's weird. Okay, yeah, we can't do that yet. Bendesium equals no-no for us at the moment. Uh, 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 uh. See, we got the environment kind of changing here. Um, I should have mentioned that I go nuts with super missiles once I have them, just because they're awesome and so useful in clearing away unwanted peoples. Uh, there's nothing really in here that we need. That goes to Fendrand Drifts. Yeah. So I guess we're just gonna go back. Ho oh, 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 ho ho ho. And I, w I guess I wasn't really prepared for this episode. Because we have some stuff to do, like item getting, and I can't remember exactly where I want to start first. Uh, so maybe we'll just run around. When we get to Chozo Ruins, that is. Just run around and grab some. No, I'm not gonna fight you. Grab some missiles, and maybe we'll just end the video there, because it's already 8 minutes. And I'm talking about nothing. What can I talk about? Uh, so some... Wait, no, is this the right way? Yeah. Summer just started for me. Oh, here's something cool we can do. Uh, we don't have to go through this awful Triclops pit that gave me trouble last time. We can just uh, space jump over the top. Um, yeah, so summer has started for me. Uh, this is my second... My first real day of summer. I got uh, back home yesterday. And uh, as for what that means for videos... I'm going to say it's probably going to be more of a scheduled thing, like more consistent. I'm pretty sure there's actually an artifact inside this pillar, but I want to show how to actually get that first instead of just like breaking the sequence and getting it now. So we're going to leave it behind for the moment. Um, and if my voice sounds a little weird, and if it sounded weird in the last episode too, I apologize. It's mostly because uh, I've been sick. I got sick for finals week, which was totally bogus, but, you know, that's how the... Sometimes, bogus is the way things go, guess. Yeah, I just made that up. Put that in greeting card, and it would be awesome. It would sell millions of copies. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> um, yeah. But, yeah. I'm excited for the summer. I really am. I also need to make money this summer for various things. So, I'm, I am going to be working a job, but I told them 
that I could start working a week later than I get actually got home. So I have, we'll have one little rest and recuperation week, which is the week that we're about to be going in to. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of glad that I did that because going right from school into a job would probably just burn me out. Plus, I can get a bunch of recording done this week, which is my aim. Oh. What time are we at? 10.30. 10 minutes and 30 seconds of me walking and talking. But then it... Oh, no! <laughs> Why do I always fall off things in this LP? Um, then again, we uh, are playing Metroid Prime, and sometimes that just happens in Metroid Prime, you know? Alrighty. Oh, 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 oh. Up the elevator. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -da -do -da -da. This is the elevator music. Samus looks around. We gonna pan into her eyes, aren't we? No, we're not. We're just gonna keep. Oh, there's the pan. Yeah, pan around Samus's eyes. <laughs> That's the elevator music. All right. Uh, all right. So here we are in Chozo Ruins. What are we going to do? Oh, I know something we can do. That's kind of actiony, and. Uh, cooler than just getting missiles. Uh, so if you see here, we can actually go back up into this room um, with our spider ball. I think there's actually a thing. Oh yes, there is a thing. Alright, we can do this then. And then... Alright, we can do this and that. <laughs> and I know that doesn't make sense, but that's what we're going to do to end this episode off. We're also going to slaughter the entire war wasp civilization. <laughs> I'm so sick of these guys already. We've only just gotten back here. Because I was so sick of them before. Oh, scan data. Scan data. Regional climate analysis complete. Normally low temperature at ruin site. Well, that will be our next goal, and we are in the ruins, which is a good thing. And I accidentally just blew up that thing, but uh, let's scan this. Oh, and also let's press, press C to save the world. To go to the antechamber. The ante chamber. I is not how it's pronounced, but whatever. I think the other artifact things are behind these pillars somewhere. Maybe up on the top. I know they are. They're all here. Are you... Yes, you have one. And... It's under the box! No. <laughs> uh, you don't have one. I can't really see. Because I'm playing in my uh, home TV now that I'm at home. There we go. And, uh, my home TV is a little bit darker than the other one. Well, I haven't adjusted the brightness on this one. And the TV in my dorm, I would always crank it up to 11. And by that, I mean the highest amount. Uh, here we got these weird enemies. I think these are called Ilops or something. Um, but they're really annoying. We're going to be running into these, I think, in the next episode, too. Um, to get one of the sort of optional power-ups you can get. And they're kind of a pain in the butt. But, you know... Now. And see, you can also uh, lay bombs and stuff when you're in the spider ball mode. And you, it'll make you do like a little hop up, which is kind of cool. Useful thing to know. Alright, here we are at the top of the room. Oh, what was that? Scariness. Uh, okay. We'll just, I guess, keep walking. That was pretty creepy looking. Some kind of blue thing. Uh. And I guess we'll just go back in here. If you can remember, this is the chamber that we fought, fraught, fought uh, Flagra in. We'll just walk over here. Uh oh, what's this? Oh god, what is that? What are those? Uh, uh, what is that? Okay, we'll scan it. That'll tell us what it is. Uh, this is the Chozo Ghost Aberration. Is that what that said? I thought it was apparition. Um, these things are scary. <laughs> And they're a little bit interesting. I think... You remember that Chozo lore that was talking about um, the Corrupted or whatever they're called? Or the Turned or something? Um, which was like Chozo that had uh, uh, been swayed by the evil and like only their evil spirits remained. I think... I'm not sure if they ever really say that that lore is referring to these guys, but I've always assumed that it is. Um, and that the, it was actually talking about these Chozo ghosts. Um, they're kind of a pain in the butt, 
they like phase around everywhere and you can only damage them with the power beam which is sort of fitting because that's their weapon the power beam is a chozo created weapon um, but yeah the first time I ever got to this part in the game I it was just I was just terrified I just thought it was so scary but I don't know that was kinda cool cuz I like it's is it weird that I like being scared like it's awful but I like it like when I was a kid my favorite levels in games were always like the horror themed ones um, like you know uh, uh, like Mad Monster Mansion and Banjo Kazooie and uh, Creepy Castle and Donkey Kong 64 and the uh, horror themed board on Mario Party 2 that was always my favorite board and uh, I always like just like stuff that has to do with the ghosts and stuff I think it is really underused in uh, games and it's interesting uh, but at the same time it's awful there we go there's one dead I think there's three in this room because uh, didn't three appear yeah so they definitely take a long time alright there's two dead that means the last guy I feel like I haven't hit at all uh, where is he I see there's a shot it says it's hard to find these guys it's easier on the wheat there we go easier on the wheat oh no there we go okay I guess I was doing more damage to him than I thought but yeah those guys are a little bit easier on the Wii one because it's just easier to move around in general I find in that game All right. And then, as you can see, when we defeated them, an artifact showed up in the middle of this flower. So we're actually walking on the previous boss's face to get it. And what I wonder is, did Flagra have this artifact? Did it, was it just like holding on to it in death? I don't know. Or did the Chozo have it and just choose to hide it in this flower? Because this flower is totally inconspicuous, obviously. Alright, there's the artifact of Wild, so now we got three out of twelve, I think. And uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to end the episode here. Maybe we'll get to a save room. No, that's the way we came. Where is a save room? There's one, like, right here, isn't there? Yeah, there's one in the gathering hall. Alright, so cool. Yeah, we'll go do that. But yeah, Chozo Ghosts, and we will definitely be seeing more of those guys. Uh, and I thought I was going to get more done in this episode. I guess next time we'll be, like, get everything Maniaville. <laughs> um... And we'll just get all the power-ups that I wanted, plus the new item that uh, we got a press Z thing about. Uh, Jesus, a pain in the butt. A pain in the butt. A pain in my butt. Your butt. My butt. No. I don't even know if that's really how that goes. Conquer's bad fur day. It's something like that. I just don't know if that's the, the exact phrasing of it. Uh, oh, okay. Probably should blow that up. And we got this big room that I feel like there's uh, there was a missile or something that I wanted to get in here but I don't know I don't th actually maybe there's not maybe I was just making it up there's one in the other room what is that room called there's one in here in watery hall I'm pretty sure and there's a couple in the dynamo down there there's a bunch of missiles that we haven't gotten yet here which is weird because like didn't I already spend an entire episode getting power-ups here it's like, I think there's there literally are more power-ups in Chozo Ruins than any other area in the game. But what, what those power-ups are and where they are, we will see in the next episode, because I'm ending this one here at the save station, where I always end them. And now we're bringing the, this episode full circle, and I should probably stop talking. So yeah, in the next episode, um, we will increase our energy tank and our missile capacity and get some other unique beamy items. And yeah, it'll be just be fun times. So tune in then. I've been Snackadack8, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later!